Hello Geometry, welcome. So the plan for today is we are having our first quiz of the year. So before that we'll do a quick refresher. We are going to play a math review game. So in class it's called Trash Cabal. If you're watching at home I'll just kind of solve the problems for you. Get you a little bit refreshed. Alright, so first up. We've got a whole bunch of lines here we're trying to find the slope. So all of these look to be in our nice format y equals mx plus b. It's called slope intercept form. This number m represents slope. So on line a, the slope's 4. Line b, the slope's 3 over 4. Line c, the slope is just negative 2. Line d, so for each of these lines, I can just find this number directly preceding x, and that should be my slope. Now a natural extension is we talked about, ooh, parallel lines yesterday. So can I find some lines that are parallel? Remember, parallel lines have the same slope. So how about, oh, it looks like A is parallel to T, both of a slope of 4. A is parallel to U, both of a slope of 4. T is parallel to you. Both have that same slope. So actually all three of those are parallel to each other. Do I see any others? I think that B is parallel to D because I can see they both have a slope of 3 fourths. And C is parallel to line R. All right, very nice. So to the review problems, let's see what we've got. So checking out this diagram, DS with a one-sided arrow is a what? That's going to be a ray, so I can see that symbol on top means start at D, go one direction forever, so that's what we call a ray. Number two, name any line segment, so I have a bunch of options, DA, how about CR, uh, TS, basically any letters that are connected on my graph, if I put the bar over the top, that means just look at the segment. I could not do something like AC, because there's no connection between those two. So I would not want to do that. All right, next up, if I'm doing a construction, if I want to bisect, so I want to bisect the blue segment AB, what would I do? I think i just take my straight edge and connect, if I could connect in a straight line, C through D, I'll have that exact bisector in the middle of my blue segment AB. What if I want an equilateral triangle, what can I do? Same original setup, but I'll connect B to C, A to C. Oh yeah, that's going to be our perfect equilateral triangle. Couple problems here. Can I just decide if lines are parallel or not? So you want to ponder it. Think about what does parallel mean? I want that same slope. So first find the slope of these two lines. Negative 5 halves, negative 5 halves. So they have the same slope which means they are parallel. Very cool, how about these ones? We'll check it out. Slope of line A is one-third, slope of line B is negative one-third, so those are not the exact same slopes, so these lines are not parallel. Okay, last but not least, using a graph to count off the slope. So a couple things to remember here. Slope is rise over run. And where I want to actually count, I don't want to count starting at kind of an in-between place. I want to start at one of my nice points. And I'll count off in a stair-step fashion to my next nice point. So then how I count the slope is how much do I go up? One, two, three, four spots. How much do I go over? One. So my rise is four. My run is 1. My slope is just 4 over 1. And last but not least, what is my slope of this thing? So once again, I want to stair step between the nice points that I have. And if I count off rise over run, my rise I'm going down to, then I'm going to the right 5. So my run's five for sure. The rise when I'm going down to, I'll call a negative two. So my slope is negative two fifths. 
And there we go. That should be plenty to get us ready for the quiz. The quiz only took most people five, ten minutes. It's not super long. And if it doesn't go well, you can always retake it. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Geometry. Have a nice day. Bye.